Our solar system hides a rule breaker, a planet that shatters what we thought we knew about how worlds are made. You know it as Mercury, the small cratered rock orbiting dangerously close to the Sun, and beneath that battered surface lies a mystery so profound it could rewrite the textbooks. A gargantuan metallic core far larger proportionally than any other rocky planet. One that simply shouldn't exist. This isn't just an oddity either, it's a direct challenge to the blueprint of planetary formation, and for decades scientists have puzzled over this impossible world. But with the Beppe Colombo spacecraft now racing towards Mercury, we may finally be closing in on the answer to Mercury's greatest mystery. Why is its core so impossibly large? For centuries, Mercury was little more than a shimmering dot, elusive and always lost in the sun's glare. But that began to change in the 1960s when radar images like this one finally began to uncover its true nature. What we discovered was astonishing. Mercury's density comes in an incredible 5.4 grams per cubic centimetre, nearly identical to Earth's, despite being barely a third of our planet's size. Such high density, especially in a small world, meant one thing. Mercury is packed with heavy material, and for rocky planets that overwhelmingly means iron. But the surprises didn't stop there. As scientists mapped Mercury's interior, the scale of the anomaly became clear. Mercury's metallic core makes up a staggering 85% of its entire radius, far greater proportionally than Earth's. It's as if this planet was built inside out, a giant metallic core wrapped in a wafer-thin rocky crust, which leaves us with the inevitable question, was this planet violently stripped of its rocky shell, or was it born different, forged under exotic conditions unlike any other world we've seen? To unravel this mystery, planetary scientists have proposed three leading theories, the first of which is the giant impact hypothesis. At 1550 kilometers wide, the Caloris Basin is the scar of an ancient planet-shattering collision, possibly with a protoplanet. In this scenario, a young, larger Mercury took a devastating hit, blasting much of its rocky exterior and leaving behind a stripped, metal-rich core. Another is the solar vaporization theory. In its early days, Mercury orbited dangerously close to a young, hyperactive sun, blasting out fierce heat and brutal solar winds. The theory proposes that under such extreme conditions, Mercury's lighter, more volatile materials, elements like sodium and potassium, were literally bowled away into space. Not just traced gases like today, but entire layers of rock, leaving behind the densest, most heat-resistant material, metal. But both of those theories hit a snag, because when NASA's MESSENGER mission orbited Mercury from 2011 to 2015, it made a startling discovery. Mercury's surface still contained significant amounts of the same volatile elements, sodium and potassium, and these should have been lost if it had been scorched or smashed so violently. Which brings us to the third theory. What if Mercury didn't lose its rocky crust? What if it never had much to begin with? In this scenario, Mercury formed in a pocket of the early solar nebula that was unusually rich in metal, the result of complex chemical and magnetic gradients sculpting the newborn solar system. A natural born world, no cataclysm required. But these were still just theories. To get real answers to uncover how Mercury became the metal world it is, scientists had to examine the planet's surface scars, fractures and features for the evidence hidden in plain sight. And that's where Messenger changed everything. Over four years in orbit, it revealed not just the planet's battered face, but its deep, restless history. Take the Caloris Basin. Scientists long believed its formation triggered seismic shockwaves that shattered the crust on Mercury's far side, creating the bizarre, fractured region known as the chaotic terrain. But Messenger's high-resolution images hinted at something more complex. Some of that chaotic landscape appears to have gradually collapsed, not all at once, but over time. The likely culprit? Mercury's interior, rich in volatile materials, slowly leaking into space. 
As these materials escaped, the weakened crust caved in. In other words, Mercury's chaotic terrain tells a story not just of ancient violence, but of an interior still evolving today. Then there are Mercury's labate scarps, colossal cliff-like ridges like discovery routes or enterprise routes, slashing across the planet's surface. These are Mercury's planetary stretch marks, formed as its oversized iron core cooled and contracted over billions of years, forcing the brittle crust to buckle and fold. They stand as towering visual reminders of just how wildly out of proportion Mercury's core truly is. But perhaps the most enigmatic are the hollows, bright shallow depressions scattered across craters like Eminescu. Right now new ones are still forming as volatile rich materials beneath the surface sublimate, turning directly from solid to gas, causing the crust to collapse. Their formation presents a direct challenge to earlier theories because if Mercury had been stripped or scorched of all its lighter materials billions of years ago, why are volatile elements still escaping today? It's a question we may finally answer with the arrival of Bepi Colombo. Due to arrive in 2026, Bepi Colombo has the ability to peel back Mercury's final layers of mystery. The planetary orbiter will map the planet's gravity field, allowing scientists to effectively weigh its interior and confirm the true size and state of its core. Just as critically, it will conduct the most detailed chemical and mineralogical survey of Mercury's surface ever attempted, putting each competing theory to the test. But Mercury's puzzle is just the beginning, because if Bepi Colombo succeeds, it could reshape how we understand the formation of planets everywhere, especially worlds forged in extreme, star-scorched environments. And perhaps most exciting of all, Bepi Colombo will monitor Mercury's exosphere and surface for ongoing change. It will watch for active hollow formation, catching Mercury quite literally in the act of shedding its crust. For over half a century, Mercury has defied the blueprint, smaller than it should be, denser than it ought to be, hiding secrets buried beneath its wafer-thin crust. But soon, Bepi Colombo will peel back the final layers of mystery, and when it does, we may finally understand how Mercury broke the rules, and what that tells us about the strange, unpredictable ways planets can form.